Hey everyone. In this video, I'll go over the equipment that I use to create a basic screencast. Now, perhaps the most important piece of equipment is your tablet, and I use a 12.9 inch iPad. I like the 12.9 inch because it's about the same size as a piece of paper, and so it's pretty natural for me to write on. I write on a piece of paper in my in-person classes, so the spacing and how large I need to write translates pretty well from there to the iPad. Now, I have loaded on my iPad my screencasting program, specifically Explain Everything. And I like Explain Everything for producing screencasts. However, I encourage you to try out other screencasting programs if you want. Most of them have free trials that you can check out. I will be using Explain Everything for these videos, though. So if you want to learn how to use a different screencasting program, check out those tutorials instead. Now, you may notice that I have my iPad here taped down, and that's just so it doesn't move when I'm writing on it, and that makes the writing a little bit neater. Next, I have an Apple Pencil, and I do recommend that you spend the extra money and get a high-end stylus like the Apple Pencil, because the writing, once again, will be a lot neater on the page, and it'll be a lot just easier to write. Now, I also have some blue painter's tape on my Apple Pencil, so why would I do that to a nice piece of engineering like the Apple Pencil? Well, I'm using that tape to hold in place a piece of gauze at the tip of the Apple Pencil, and that is so when I use the Apple Pencil on my iPad, it doesn't make any noise. Without the gauze, the clacking that the Apple Pencil makes when I write on the iPad was picked up by my audio during my recording. And that's not such a big deal. It's not going to interfere with your students learning, but it just got annoying to me after a while. So I taped a piece of gauze on the end and now it's much quieter. Also make sure that you have lots of water available when you're recording your screencast because your voice will kind of degrade over time. Also, make sure to take lots of breaks if you're recording a longer screencast. Now, I have my water in a nice coffee container here, and that's so that, you know, if I accidentally um, turn it sideways or something, I don't risk getting water over my nice expensive electronics that I use to create my screencast. Now, as far as audio goes, when you record your screencast, with Explain Everything or whatever screencasting program you decide to use, it will automatically pick up your voice through the microphone within your tablet, in this case, within the iPad. And that's perfectly fine, but if you want a higher quality audio in your recording, I suggest that you use an external microphone. So one option is this. This is just a lapel microphone and you can clip it right onto your shirt. And the other end is just an audio jack. And that goes right into your tablet. And your tablet will automatically pick up the audio from the lapel mic instead of using the internal microphone in the iPad. And that'll give you a little bit better of a sound. Now, if you are gonna use a lapel mic, make sure that you don't wear clothes that make a lot of noise. So this is a nice cotton polyester mix shirt and when I move around, it doesn't make that much noise, okay? But dress shirts and things like that can make a little more noise, so just be aware of that when you're recording. I'm also wearing sweatpants for the same reason. Uh, if you wear jeans and you happen to rub your legs together a little bit, it makes quite a bit of noise that will be picked up on the recording. So I recommend wearing nice quiet clothes. And when you're making your screencast using your tablet, you're not really gonna be on camera anyway, so it doesn't really matter what you wear. Now, if you want even better quality for your audio, I recommend using this. This is a condenser microphone that I have on a microphone stand. And the condenser microphone I use is a Blue Yeti microphone. And this can also hook right into your iPad, but you need an adapter. You'll need a USB to lightning adapter to plug it into your iPad. 
but just like the lapel microphone, it's pretty much just plug and play. You can plug it in and explain everything will automatically use that microphone to pick up the audio while you're recording your screencast. Now I do recommend using the microphone stand as well because if you place your condenser microphone on the same desk that you're writing on, it's going to move your desk around a little bit and the microphone is pretty sensitive so it could pick up those vibrations on the desk and interfere with your audio. I'm also using a pop filter here uh, because that protects the microphone from you know, any spit that I may spit while I'm speaking and also prevents what are called plosives. These are hard P sounds that can kind of mess up your audio a little bit. Now, when you're using, um, if you decide to use a condenser microphone, in particular this, uh, excuse me, this uh, Blue Yeti microphone, make sure that the mode on the microphone is set to cardoid mode. That's the mode that you want to use to pick up just one voice from one direction. And cardoid mode is just a little circle with a little dent at the bottom. And you can also use the gain dial to kind of play around with how much volume the microphone is going to pick up. So you can get the right gain by trial and error. I set my dial to about 10 o'clock. Now, I think that's it for equipment, but you also wanna make sure, as much as you can anyway, that you have a low amount of background noise in your recording. So try to choose a location to record in that's relatively quiet. Now, this location, this is my office, is not particularly quiet because it's right by the road and you may have heard some cars going by. I chose this location because it has good lighting and I'm actually making a video with my face on it. So I have nice big windows here that provide nice natural lighting. I also have some uh, lamps on the wall that provide some lighting. So that's why I chose this room. But for making a screencast, I choose a room over in that direction that's much farther away from the road. And I suggest you do the same. Okay, so I think that's it for the equipment that you'll need to produce your screencast with your tablet. Um, I'll talk about some of the other equipment that I use to create talking head videos uh, later on in a different video. And in the next video, I will show you a detailed tutorial on the screencasting program, explain everything. See you then.